Hello ladies and gentlemen, Holotide here again, and today we're going to talk about everything that we know of coming in Season 5, and that being said, I still think that there's going to be more stuff that actually, you know, is a surprise in Season 5. We've really seen 343 take the, you know, not under-promise, but over-deliver approach when it comes to, you know, what content is and what content is coming to Halo Infinite. It's very different than, like, Season 1, 2, and the Winter Update and stuff like that. Like, it's cool to actually be surprised we knew we were getting a lot with season five and with the hts uh world championship um last weekend they kept announcing more things so i've tried really hard to gather every single thing that we know for sure is coming no leaks or anything like that in this video it's like what is coming out season five and some of that stuff, I was kind of disappointed when we were only getting two arena maps that were, you know, like dev made. There was no BTB maps and stuff like that. Personally, I still think that we're going to get a community BTB playlist with Forge maps. Uh, we've seen Michael Shore talk about it, you know, that they want to do it. And with no BTB maps being made for Season 5... Unless there's like a surprise dev map in the middle of the season or something like that. I think that we're going to get the BTB playlist. That being said, we do have squad battle with some of the old Forge maps. But now, it looks like we're getting a Halo 3 refueled playlist coming out in November. But before we get into that, let's just take a look at everything that 343 has confirmed. Going with what's new, what's coming in Season 5, the quality of life, ranked, customization and stuff like that. Before we get into the video though, I just wanna say thank you for all the support recently. You all have been absolutely killing it. I could be your third favorite Halo YouTuber slash content creator. Sometimes I do stream on Twitch and I am very funny on Twitter. Those links are in the description if you wanna follow. And if you enjoy Halo content, go ahead and sub to the channel. We're grinding way to 15K. Anyways, we're gonna speed run this stuff because it's a lot. I've got a lot of this info from like Reddit and Twitter watching the streams during HCS with people talking from 343. The extraction game mode comes back from Halo 4. It's been changed a little bit for Halo Infinite. Very excited for that. We're getting a ton of Flood-inspired customization options for your Spartan. Very spooky indeed for this season. One of the new maps is based in one of the Blamite mining locations, which is like the Needler ammo called Prism. This map is absolutely gorgeous. It is not going to be added to competitive though, but the other map, Forbidden, will be added to competitive. This map is also very cool to me. I love the uh, vibes of it. I, I think we talk about how it reminds me of Star Wars, you know, like the Yavin Four Temples and stuff like that. I absolutely love it. One of the best things about Halo, in my opinion, is the Brutalist architecture, and while I do love like the gray, silvery, you know, Forerunner stuff, these temples, mmm. One of the best and biggest things coming is Forge AI support, which means we are going to be able, for the first time in Halo history, I guess without modding, be able to create our own PvE experiences, and that means, like, you know, I think people are going to start with Firefight and stuff like that, Horde-based modes, and then we're going to see, like, campaign-esque missions. 343 did say that they want to get community-made, you know, like firefight maps in the matchmaking, which is absolutely massive. I just feel like really seeing the developer community handshake, at, you know, just happening right now with three. And I don't know if there's, please let me know in the comments, but I can't think of another developer who has this much built into the game for the community to make their own user generated content. Imagine if like Destiny could let people make their own raids. Anyways, we're going to see raids in Halo Infinite. It's very cool. That's one of the things I'm most excited for. Talking about, you know, custom games and stuff like that, you will be able to get XP in custom games. They've kind of changed how the Battle Pass works in general. It's not so much based on challenges, like you just get XP for playing any game mode and stuff like that, so you'll be able to rank up. They've also changed how the Battle Pass works, you know, the tiers and stuff. It went from 100 to 50. They got rid of a lot of the fluff and a lot of things that were just, like, doubled and tripled up through it. I think that's a good change. Cross-core support for all helmets, including the Fracture Cores. This means existing helmets that are already in the game and future helmets. Premium coatings will support cross-core. I don't know if that means, you know, past premium coatings. Unishek said on Twitter that all new premium coatings will be available cross-core, so I don't know. We're also getting a new weapon variant, not a brand new weapon, but a variant of the Bandit called the Bandit Evo. It's got a scope on it. 
I talked to some people who got to play with it early. They said that it does feel... We talked about how the Bandit before felt like the Halo 5 Magnum um, when people got to play it at, I think it was Charlotte. But with the scope on this baby, they, they say it's just like playing Halo 5. We're also getting a Hero Career Rank Reward, which will be Infinite's Master Chief's Armor. But it's going to be an armor kit. All right, let's talk about things that are supposed to come during Season 5. We're going to get Firefight King of the Hill. I'm not sure if they announced a date for that. People did get to play it at the HCS event, though. They said it's pretty fun. You basically have to capture five hills that spawn during the match. And that's how you win. IGN did say that it will arrive mid-season, so we'll see what happens with that. Also, like I said before, we're getting the Halo 3 Refueled playlist, which is like in partnership with... Mountain Dew, the Mountain Dew's coming out with Game Fuel again with Master Chief on it, very cool. There's also going to be some cosmetics that you can earn when, I don't know. I haven't really seen how you get them, other than there were just like giveaways on Twitter. But in that playlist, we're going to see a map called Critical Dew Point, a reimagination of Guardian, a reimagination of Construct, of Blackout, of The Pit, of High Ground, of Isolation, and of Narrows. That's pretty cool in my opinion. It's just crazy how much we're getting, you know, from the user-generated content side of things. It's amazing. Moving on to ranked play, Extraction will be added. So that'll be cool to see how pro players actually play that game mode. People are like, oh, is it just King of the Hill? It's really not, in my opinion. I do think that it's different, and I actually like it more than King of the Hill. So Forbidden, like I said, will be added to the ranked competitive playlist as well. Bandit Evo starts, so ranked is going to be pretty jazzed up. Some other things that we've seen from the trailers is the Mark V CE styled armor. We've seen a ton of like weapon models, armor pieces, effects, coatings. We've seen a bunch of armor such as the security helmet, the EOD helmet, the pilot helmet. Apparently Halo TV show cosmetics are going to be added this season. And if we don't get the haunted helmet from Halo Reach for Halloween, I'm going to be I'm going to be mad. Okay, that's everything that I have on my list. I hope that that covered like 95% of all the stuff that they talked about. There was just so much happening going on on Twitter, on the live streams. It was a lot. But that's a good problem to have, in my opinion, like to to have so much coming out that it's hard to make a video on everything, I think is a good sign because, man, we really had a content drought a long time ago. It's crazy to see how the seasons have changed, how I guess the new leadership has affected the game. Do you guys remember when we were supposed to get drop pods with like quality of life changes and stuff? And like, that's just, I don't know. I guess that's never going to happen because I haven't heard anybody talk about drop pods in months. But like I said, I'm super excited. I think season five is great. I think that we're really starting to see what Halo Infinite is going to become in the future. I really feel like content wise with Forge and what people are making in the community, man like it's just i don't know this could be the forever halo game that they were talking about it's really hard for me to imagine a world where they're just like all right here's all this stuff for halo infinite and we're making a new game i just think that there'll be new iterations of halo games outside of halo infinite you know like that certain affinity game mode maybe there'll be like another studio working on a flood horror game god please i need that but i guess we just have to wait and see let me know in the comments down below how you guys feel about season five let me know if this is enough if you've stopped playing the game for you to come back and let me know your favorite thing about what's coming but that's gonna do it for the video ladies and gentlemen if you enjoyed, make sure you leave a like down below. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe, and I will catch you around the ring. Peace!